Hello and welcome back to Misery Loves Mandy, where comedians talk about miserable moments and whether or not they made them into jokes. This week's guests are my two favorite people together for the first time on my podcast, Audrey Stewart and Chase Chaos O'Donnell. That is her new name, and you will find out why when you listen. This is a Thanksgiving Day episode, although we were having so much fun talking, we barely talked about Thanksgiving. I mean, you'll learn some Thanksgiving Day things. You just won't know if they're true or not. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe. I shouldn't have said stay tuned, but do like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Check out the Patreon. And happy Thanksgiving. So we were supposed to go to see um, Wicked tonight with Chase, but um, Chase said, here, here's my ticket link. Get it right away so it doesn't sell out. I said, this is probably going to sell out, so I'd get your ticket soon. However, you said it wasn't sold out. You just don't like sitting front row. It was like just the front two. Front front row is really tough. That's tough it's, on the neck. It's, it's, like, it's tough. It's, it's not the best <laughs> viewing experience. Not for $30. <laughs> it no. like, feels like you're sucking a dick and looking up <laughs> the whole time. I can never like confidently look up. I wish I was that girl who could suck a dick and look up. Really? Why? Well, we're going to say this now. Oh, we're this... still watching the movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is officially not going to be a um, YouTube ad suitable because I said, we said sucking a dick in the uh. first three minutes. So <laughs> we're all going to die soon anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. But that is what it feels like. I don't think I do that. Do you guys focus? You know when they go, or... look at you. Yeah, no. Like, oh. Yeah, I don't think do I do Do you guys focus or is your mind at the places? Because I'm like, mm, what do I got to do this week? Oh, a to-do list. Oh. I'm like, what movies are out that I want to see? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm kind of like, oh, God, let's like get this over with. Mm-mm-mm. It's it's more like let's focus so this can be oh. done. Oh, that's nice. That's good. But you also have worked on <laughs> meditating and silent retreats. I feel like that would really help a blowjob. That would. <laughs> right? You just saw his dick like, hum. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm going to another meditation retreat next week. I know. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, Wait, she, what? She, or another silent one, right? Yeah. Wait, is si- you've, been, Chase, you've been going on silent ones. Listen, the Mandy listeners have heard all about this. I'm s- I don't know if they're bored of it, but How it's my favorite topic. topic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've I've been really into silent meditation <laughs> retreats, and I think it's just so the opposite of our lives. Yeah, that when like I did it in June afterwards, everyone was like, "Thank God I can talk," and "Thank God I have to get back to life." And I was like, "I could stay here another year." <laughs> we see Chase after I'm like, "Chase, how are you?" She's like, <laughs> "I'm like, hey, you're here now." <laughs> Wait, so you loved it? Yeah. And I might do more. I might do January through March traveling through Europe <gasps> because they're all free. And I might just do some silent retreats. Wait, so when you're quiet, what do you even do? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'd rather stick my hand into an oven. <laughs> you don't do anything except feel the feelings of being alive. Oh, my God. It, by the end, you're on drugs. But that sounds it, awesome. But it's just the drugs of being like you're on mushrooms. Wait. So, oh, you do take mushrooms. No. No. Oh, you're sober. <laughs> like, that <laughs> you feel like it. You feel like you're on mushrooms. Because you're just like living. You're like on a high. It's like euphoria, like through your body sensations of like, oh, my God, I'm alive. Yeah. Wait, that's cool. What if you accidentally like sneeze in the silent retreat? And you're like, hi, you. And you're like, it's ruined. <laughs> Life is so chaotic. <laughs> You know, people were coughing, and I would kind of give, like, looks. Yeah, I'm sure. I would go, I mean, come on. Yeah. Someone was breathing too hard. The whole group is like. (laughs) You know what? The guys. Chewing, farting, (laughs) silent farts only. The guys were loud, like, burping and stomach growling and coughing and, like, any noise they 
could yeah. make, they would. Guys would make get, a lot of noise. I would get frustrated with the guys. Guys are making so much The girls noise. were polite. If That's the girls nice. sneezed, it would be like, <laughs> yeah. you know. Oh, I actually yeah. quiet. have a very, very aggressive manly sneeze. It goes, it's more <laughs> like a yell. It's like a, ah, <laughs> But like more, more low pitch. <laughs> I don't know how to fake it, but enough to where um, everyone around me hates me. When That's, I so <laughs> That's so that funny. That sounds like a girl sneeze, though. No, I couldn't do an impression of my own sneeze. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone give me some pepper. <laughs> when I'm alone, I'll sneeze loud. And in public, I go. Oh. That's good. Yeah. Good girl. Do you think it, ca- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it causes us brain damage to sneeze because don't they say if you hold in your your farts, it causes stomach damage. If you hold in your sneeze, it causes brain damage. Yeah, I hear it's bad to hold in your sneeze. You, you know think what I just heard da- recently? Oh, tell me. Speaking of, and it's <laughs> having me, it's making it worse for me. And I'm, oh, I'm no. so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> if, you, if you overthink, you're more likely to have dementia. <gasps> and I, and now I'm overthinking about overthinking. Oh, I overthink. I'm going to have no. dementia. I'm I, gonna have, I, I'm going to have it. I, ha- I didn't know. I, I plugged I my phone in. I already have it. Right? I, I don't remember plugging my phone in. I what? don't remember. What? People tell me stories. I go, what? I don't remember stuff. Chase I... is just blacked out. She no. Said, it must be dementia. No. They're like, you pissed your pants. You're blacked out. <laughs> I would like to say, <laughs> I think that, Chase, you have a great memory. Because okay. Because you've told me so many stories. Oh, yeah. Well, the trauma, really. <laughs> I remember the trauma. <laughs> You're right. Wait, that's a terrifying story. Like, a statistic. I, Didn't that just ruin your day? And... And overthinking is like, because I, I, yeah, would you Google yeah, yeah, what yeah, is overthinking? Yeah, I would like to, we would like to cite Audrey Stewart. Is, yeah, everybody should always cite me because I'm making up rumors <laughs> consistently <laughs> on accident. Wow. Yes, overthinking <gasps> or repetitive negative thinking, RNT, can increase the risk of dementia. <gasps> that's all I have. Stress oh my God, hormones. that's all I have. That's all I have too. You guys? I always think the world's against me. I think I'm a victim. You guys yeah. are the yeah. two yep. nicest, most yeah. well-loved people I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm not exaggerating. And, and then the fact that they're worried about people not liking them <laughs> means everyone else is absolutely <laughs> fucked. But the thing is, people who actually do suck don't even they don't think, even think about, about it. anyone uh-huh. hating them. That's why we're going to have dementia. That's why the bad live. Well, I'm, I am getting dementia next week, probably. Well, you next know what? Week, I maybe. have to That's say. Soon. It's soon. I we have, have to, to hang say, out before that. I would love to do something <laughs> before then. Okay. Great. That is um, <laughs> really like comforting to hear in a way. <laughs> that About dementia? No, no, no. That you also have such negative thinking patterns oh i have such bad negative thinking patterns is this something that's common in stand-ups i think it's common in stand-ups and adhd i think it's common i'm starting to think i have adhd i watch the videos on instagram that are like do you have adhd and they're like say the symptoms i'm like yeah Hmm. but it's just self-diagnosed you know i overthink you overthink a lot all the time so you guys have a lot in common you overthink a lot Mm-hmm. You like, both like just like choices you make. Sorry, man, I need to cut you off. Mm-hmm. Choices you make, or like say so. Like, if I make a choice, and maybe it's a bad choice, or maybe it's a good choice, I overthink that choice. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if that was a good choice or not. Same. And I'm not able to trust this <laughs> gut, and then I think about it. But there's no like, like for example, if I, I'm saying I might travel. January through March, the overthinking about, and then I'm never gonna find a husband, and then if I don't, then I'm gonna, but it's gonna, be, I'm gonna be too old, and then I'm come back, and my career is gonna be done, and yeah. like all mm-hmm. that instead of just living, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah I always, I, have a, I, I, have, uh, I always am afraid I'm hurting someone's feelings. Me too. Or if I make a decision for myself, sometimes I'm like, I always am like, I, I care about too much about. Everyone else. Everyone out thinking is That's everybody going to be ma- too. a people pleaser to the max? And it's not so mm-hmm. much I care what people think of me. I just care about disappointing or making them be like that. This person's mean, or I don't like this with this. You person. just you said what? what's in my mind. Do you not feel this way? Um, I was way worse with overthinking. Oh, by the way, her stand-up special 
from her when did you film like two years ago now mm-hmm. <gasps> it's called people pleaser oh my god i can't wait to see it mm-hmm. <laughs> i watch it and take all the jokes <laughs> <laughs> and i was like i know one person i don't care about pleasing <laughs> time to flip the switch <laughs> time to fucking fuck it i okay so i was really 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 bad at the overthinking until i hit 30 and I started therapy at 29, and then I did too. Really? What a year! It yeah. was a quite the year. <laughs> things got real messy before they got better. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? What about Manny's voice change? <laughs> it was messy. <laughs> I'm like, it was a really dark time. <laughs> I don't know what voice that was. I know what. <laughs> So every time I want to do a voice today, it's just not coming out how I imagine it. <laughs> it's like, if I can think it, I wish I could do it, but okay. Um, <laughs> and then I worked on overthinking a lot to where I don't as much You overthink. did CBT therapy? I've been, I did an app that is saying that. Cognitive behavior therapy? For yeah. For a little bit. She does. I where like you question your thought and you go, is that true though? Oh yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, okay, okay. I, sometimes it's hard to know what's true it's right hard now. to know I, i'm like i'm like <laughs> I, I, I need to get back at therapy i do because there are times where i'm like i don't know what's true or what my, my mind's anymore. making it same yeah oh i'm still in therapy <sighs> yeah i can't afford mine i stopped seeing her about a year ago but we worked really hard and, and now you, and now you don't overthink I, now i practice overthink. things on myself i don't well overthink. i'm gonna cheers to, I'm gonna that. Cheers to that chase wow, and i will catch up to you <laughs> okay. and then so then we'll be overthinking about how we're overthinking <laughs> i mean that, not, not, trust me i overthink but not My, as bad as it used to be do you overthink as a man do you overthink pretty simple pretty simple yeah. <laughs> i'm dead i do think that's like not i'm not saying i'm not trying to divide the girls and the guys but I do feel like that's the thing with guys where they're like easier because like my boyfriend's like I say yes or I say no and I make the decision I stick with the decision and that's the decision. Mm-hmm. I do a handful of female podcasts here and I'll say my problems and your problems are not the same problems. <laughs> <laughs> what are your problems? <laughs> what, what if we were Take here for three hours? <laughs> we open the door, Mike's sobbing. I'm like, hey, I gotta. Get back to the uh, mid city. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You want to switch seats? My problems are deep down inside, and they don't get brought up. Oh yeah, that's a <laughs> guy suppressed. They suppress. They suppress. They suppress. That's like, healthy. You're mm-hmm. probably a lot happier than, uh-huh. than us. <laughs> I just, like, have to be alone forever and keep that to myself forever. <laughs> <laughs> don't have any children and die. And- uh-huh. Sounds Animals great. only live for like eight years, so you won't really harm them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you've got it figured out. <laughs> die alone. Yeah. Die alone. Got it. That's all. It's not even what uh, we asked him. I was like, hey, Mike, do you ever think he's like, I'm going to die alone? I'm like, what? But I'm okay with it, so I don't overthink. So you don't overthink. There we go. Yeah, you don't overthink it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All right. I definitely overthink, but I think I let it go sooner than I used to. Like, it's like a, I have the thought and then I try to push it away. that's beautiful mm-hmm. that is beautiful that's beautiful but if i don't meditate or now i started the tapping really like every day yeah i notice like my like overwhelmingness so much more than if i do if i don't if i do yeah and i'm like why am i losing my shit today like oh yeah i didn't take some time to meditate. breathe mm-hmm. so it doesn't feel like it's making a difference until you stop doing it and then notice it does make a difference that's yeah great. totally i can't wait for that day <laughs> <laughs> Counting down the days, but then I might not be able to count soon anyways. So we might never get to that. It's actually also good to know, like, you know when you hear, oh, red dye on Cheetos is bad for you. Mm -hmm. It's going to kill you. Then you start to think, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't eat that. Mm -hmm. It's now like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't overthink if I'm going to get dementia. Yeah. And it's Mm -hmm. also. It's good for me to know that. uh, Yeah. yeah, And it's, it's so good to know that. And it's also. It's good to remind ourselves that everybody has such busy lives that they're yeah, not thinking, thinking they're about not us. thinking about us. Oh my god, that reminds me of like when I was younger. I don't know if we talked about this before, but like, oh my god, if I said something stupid yesterday, we were filming the podcast. I think I said three embarrassing things. I, it was with a girl I didn't know. She was the who was it? So funny. You're like Sarah Silverman. I'm like what? <laughs> <laughs> was it? Uh, her name is Brittany Ross and she was awesome. I love Brittany you know Ross. Her? Yeah, she, yeah, was she just had a baby. Yeah, she was great. I love Brittany Ross. But like I said some like she entered and I was like, Oh, I think they got put these uh Ollie Pops Cokes in the Christmas cans because no one buys the regulars, so they probably recanned it. And she's like, I don't 
<laughs> they both looked at me like, I don't think you could recan soda. <laughs> so like that could have been debilitating when I was younger. I would go to sleep thinking, you fucking idiot. They didn't recan the sodas. And then now that I is- say... You know what? That was stupid, and we're moving on. <laughs> also, I love how Mike quickly just pulls up Brittany Ross's headshot. I know. I'm looking at Brittany Ross. She's a beautiful she, girl. She's yeah, so she beautiful. And she, she seems very successful. Doesn't look like she just had two kids either. Yeah. No. I I love that it was someone I didn't know, and she was great. It's fun. Wow. Look at you're so likable, Mandel. Oh, yeah. thanks. You are. You really. are. If you don't like you, you're a, you're a devil. Uh-huh. <laughs> You've been possessed. Mm-hmm. You can say they that call again. Me the devil. Because yeah, I can. hate myself. <laughs> I love how we're just, this is a very painful podcast for all of us. We're laughing, but we're really coming clean with what's wrong with us. It's really nice to talk about it. <laughs> it does. It feels nice. Um, yeah. Audrey, uh, both of you guys enjoy psychology. Mm-hmm. Audrey wanted to go back to school for psychology. Yes, I wanted to go back to school for psychology, and I can't say much, but I have a show I created about psychology. Um, what do you mean? It's Wait, like comedy and psychology. A live show? Yes, it's uh, it well, it's awesome. It's in development right okay, now. Okay, we can't say much. There's some things happening with it, but yes, but yes, I love I love psychology. I love I know I love helping. Like I wanted to be a Mandy's therapist. Mandy's bringing us together for real. <laughs> yeah, because Mandy knows what she's gonna say Man. about me, right? No, but what what that I've applied to go back to school for psychology. I wasn't gonna say that because I'm a good did friend. Did you just and recently? I was told it was a secret. Wait, wait. Well, it is, but wait, Chase, you just recently <laughs> did. Wait, where? Antioch. Wait, that's where I applied. I didn't know it. I got, I got in. I got, I got in. Yeah. yeah. You did. Yeah. Did and you have to do the live interview? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did the live. But then well, I was scary. a live interview. But then I deferred. Like, and then the deferment t- period passed. And then if I ever wanted to go back, I would have to reapply. I And I I was thinking of deferring and traveling from January to March. Oh, I would do that. Yeah. You Damn would. It. Yeah. Should I reapply in the same class? Yeah, if you should we travel. we did it together. And then you guys should, after Love you that. travel it's and after little... your show's on the road and you're all the money, then go together. I know. And, expect, and if you get, you could be on our show, honestly, if you do the therapy, if you get Well, certified. now I have to do if it. If you get certified, <laughs> you could be one of the therapists. Ooh. Wait, wait. So uh, uh, I love this. Antioch. So my cousin just graduated from Antioch too. My cousin's cousin, actually. That's some Indiana okay, shit. Okay. And um, <laughs> she loved yeah. it. But it, to me, it, it's the only you thing that's holding me Antioch. back. Antioch. Antioch. The only it's in Culver me, City. It's in Culver City. Oh, the only thing holding me I'm from Illinois. I thought you had to go back to Antioch. Illinois. I was like, oh, God. Mike, don't Mike, do that. Mike sadly is Googling it. I would not be smiling if my two friends were moving to <laughs> Illinois. I would be very No, upset. it's 10 minutes from my house. It was and expen- it, expen- it's a little it's expensive. expensive. That- I've talked to a lot of people about the debt, my, including my therapist, who said, oh, you're, everyone's in debt. Everyone's in everyone's debt. Everyone's in debt. I love that from a therapist. I, you know <laughs> that I have, really, That's a really funny thing. I got ACL <laughs> surgery, and I don't know where that where it went. <laughs> and it's got to be in debt somewhere. Oh, you don't know where the no, bills are going? I don't know where it is. I mean, <laughs> it's like $8,000. I'm like, I don't know where this is. I got a theater degree, and I still have 25000 in debt. I mean, that's funny. Yeah, I'm 18. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I know, I, I, you know that I, I interned uh, <laughs> my, going to my senior year out here in L.A. I had a Warner Brothers internship and Power 106. They were not paid. So then my school gave me money, and I go, this is a grant. And then I find out it was a loan. <laughs> I, I thought they just gave me the money. I had to pay it back. <laughs> I, I go, what? I thought they won this. I go, what are you talking about? That's dude? like getting a temporary, t- I think a real tattoo thinking it was a temporary <laughs> tattoo. Look, I got a temporary tattoo. Oh, it's fading. Uh, but oh, it's the wow. ones that last for like three weeks. Wait. I wanted to get the ink box. Yeah. I want them. I've been doing so them expensive. left and right. We should get ink box. I've got sponsor. one here. Whoa. I had one here. Wait, they look fun. like grail tattoos. It's so fun. I want Wait, one. I want one because too. Because it's like. Where you get some? Yeah. Okay. It's like, um, what, who needs a tattoo when you can have a temporary one and uh-huh. keep switching it up? Yes. See, overthinking. I would overthink a tattoo. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this is going to bleed. This location, apparently it's going to bleed and then droop. Mm. Oh, oh, how wonderful. Oh, in my beautiful. grandma's handwriting. Wait, wait. It's going to bleed and droop? Someone yeah. says they get... Like, oh, you you know it where I learned our, it? It was Mandy. My bad. <laughs> wait, that, but that's real. But it that's depends real. on that's the real. artist. I it, hope it's not going to bleed and droop. I hope not because it was expensive. It was bleed. Joey Hill. He did uh, the, the jackass for all the jackass. What is this? I got to tell you. This is a rash. It rash. Keeps, you keep getting these rashes. Yeah. Hmm. They're... Is it contact dermatitis? It's from overthinking. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> oh no. I have dementia rash. I have the the little dots. 
I have, have the little. All these things. Just be happy if it bleeds and droops. Be happy you live that long. Bleeds and droops. Wow, Mike. Wow, that's yeah. beautiful. Because the mind of a man, man that doesn't ever think. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a really cute tattoo. I appreciate that. I, I got really it darkened. Like it was even thinner. But yeah, oh. that's nice. It's nice. I like the delicate yeah. tattoo. Yeah, too. it makes me happy, so I don't ever regret it. Mm-hmm. No, I love it. It yeah. looks really good. So, what yeah. does "Oh, how wonderful" mean to you? My grandma, like, so this was in her handwriting. She would always <gasps> say, like, "Oh, how wonderful!" Uh, oh. No matter what, like, even if you know, she was a she had ten kids. She was oh. Catholic, super Catholic. Um, you know, has so many grandkids, and I feel like everybody became lawyers and whatever. And I felt like I felt weird when I was like telling her I wanted to be a comedian, and she said to me, "Oh, she was like, how wonderful." And then oh, that's really, I started really dating cute. a woman before. Now I'm dating a guy, but I dated a woman before, and everyone's like, "Don't tell grandma, don't tell grandma," and I'm just like. I don't, I'm gonna tell grandma and I was like I have a girlfriend she was like oh how wonderful like so she's like so it's just like a woman of faith and like a very like oh, beautiful we love that. yeah so it's just like it means a lot to me I feel like you know what I take it as don't judge don't judge yeah 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 I love that mm. oh yeah. how wonderful yeah or oh that's wonderful both uh, of, both yes, of the, yeah that's beautiful <laughs> yeah it's mainly oh that's wonderful I think I fucked it up <laughs> <laughs> Because my cousins are like, I think she said, oh, that's wonderful. I'm like, shut the fuck up. It's on my body. It's on my body. I like, oh, how wonderful more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. When you said it the other way, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just like. Yeah. I'm like, or, oh, that's wonderful. That's two cost per letter. Yeah. <laughs> that's so There's three letters less. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, my goodness. Wait, and you got, you just had the B for fun? The B, well, okay, it's very faded at the me- moment. The B represents to just be. Oh, yes. Just be. Just okay, be. silent retreater. <laughs> <laughs> and then the <laughs> other one I had a few weeks ago said no. <laughs> You need that. To remind me to say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So incredible. <laughs> Do the show three hours away, $10. No. No. <laughs> yeah, you, guys, you know what? No. I think we could all use that tattoo. Yeah. I started a no tally over the summer where oh. if I said no to 10 things, I would get a massage. <laughs> so because i say yes to everything yeah so um i i had to put in like you know rewards for myself for saying no and i did good i turned down a lot of shows that's great that sounds great yeah yeah i'm glad hey. you turned down my podcast during that chat <laughs> i'm like oh no 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 hey mandy this no. podcast lifts me up yay hey mandy i'm gonna say no and i'm gonna go get a massage <laughs> <laughs> you're my temp <laughs> so funny i love that jace that's great yeah oh, thank you man. that's great <laughs> i'm really working on my side <laughs> honestly you know what i think about chase i would love to go to you as a therapist uh, would you i feel like you're such a real one because you're like <laughs> well you you are you're like you got nice energy and then you admit to what's kind of going on in your head and then like you're kind <laughs> you're, you know what yeah I mean? you're funny i would want you as a therapist yeah wow. I would go to you. the last thing i'd want to do though is turn into a comedy therapist oh yeah no like, no no. you're too close to home yeah like i think down the road in the future yeah yeah do you think, a, a separate career mm-hmm. do you think that um so are you gonna be a therapist and then you're still gonna do stand-up i think oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah i yeah. would still do stand-up this is just like to secure i re- when i like think about where i want to end up in my life i don't think i want to always be on the road yeah i don't want to always be touring Same here and i think like if I think of a future where I'm just working remote, mm-hmm. taking clients, helping people in my little lake house in Lake Tahoe. Oh, oh yeah. Once I pay off the debt. Um, <laughs> I just think that sounds like a beautiful third chapter of life. That's, yeah. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. You're, I think I might go back to school. You're, so you're, I'm really, just kinda, getting it. you're just, really making me feel like. <laughs> I'm just doing it now to get it out of the way. That's, That's great. great. Where I'm kind of feeling like, you know, like uh, I'm, I'm meditating and, you know, I'm I and I'm not quite sure what I want to write about for my next hour. And I think I want to write about like the brain and everything I'm going through right yeah. now. And yeah. I think going to school will help. I was just about to say, if you end up, you know, you, you keep blasting off in comedy and stuff and you end up being like, hey, like I just went to school. That's never going to go. The learning about emotions and stuff is never, oh, never going to hurt it's never going to hurt 
It's going to help you. I am overthinking it about the debt. So, but yeah. I think that your therapist is right. It's like, also, my dad told me something (laughs) about, uh, first of all, we never had credit cards. And he never, we never, no one opened us credit cards. Me neither. I just, I had a $500 limit until like six months ago. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I don't even know what this is. And then, and then. (laughs) Thank God. Thank God. But my dad told me he's 30, he used to be, he had four kids. He was thirty thousand dollars in um, credit card debt. He was in law school. He was just like, "How the fuck am I ever going to climb out of this?" And now, couldn't be better. Couldn't, Your dad? Yeah. So, oh. so, but I'm saying, Go dad. I'm saying, like, that always makes me think that debt should never be the thing that scares you because he had so much debt until he got to, to the career he wanted. But to get to that point where he's doing everything he loves, he, he had, had so pay. much debt. That's beautiful. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, that's, oh, that's wonderful. wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going back to school, but my podcast is going to take off. <laughs> <laughs> We're <all> like, <laughs> no, it's going to. It is. Oh, it, it, already is. Is. it already you. is. Oh, it already and is. I don't know how much we want to talk about it, but Chase and I are writing a show. Developing, we're gonna develop. A what show. if you're like, it's about some dumb bitch <laughs> name? Of- <laughs> Are we still doing it tomorrow? It's in my calendar. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm okay. gonna talk to you about Wait, that. What's the show about? Can you guys say it? Are we allowed to say? No, probably don't Would say Would there be any negative things about saying it? As like, long as nobody listening steals it. I was gonna say, is somebody gonna steal it? Did they steal well, it? Well, it's for OnlyFans. We'll start with that. Wait, it's not for OnlyFans. We're gonna we, start pitching there first. We're, we were gonna pitch. Why wouldn't you? There's great connections. There. Yeah. And we, you have. Uh, we were going to pitch around, but then we we thought of a fun title. What is it? For OnlyFans. So at first it was going to be called, well, first of all, the most popular videos are YouTube how-to videos. Yes. So a we, guy in Antioch, Illinois mm-hmm. could be changing a tire <laughs> yep. and it has millions of <laughs> millions views. Millions of views. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to do a how-to show with us being the host and seeing if we can do these things we don't know how to do and then learn how to do them and then all the viewers watch us and learn how to do the things that's fantastic but it can get fun tell her the okay so it was gonna be called how not to then we were saying oh maybe only fans tv will pick it up and then we came up with the name how hard is it (laughs) <laughs> I am Boo! dead. Oh, I thought it was a fist bump. Oh, I was mic dropping. Oh, even better. Mike, Mike. Wait, that's, that, our new, that's our new handshake. Oh, that's, that's good. good. So how hard is it? So then it could be like you're at the local firefighting station. Oh, yeah. And they're like, you have to get, you have to put the suits on and get in this amount of time. And you're like, how hard is it? And mm. then you guys do it. And then they're hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That wasn't that I, funny. I, I, no, it's Any great. other podcast would be dead silent. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Not you should, you should Not edit it to us going yeah <laughs> <laughs> just silence i was also thinking it'd be fun and then i'll stop talking about it if he, in the beginning of each episode we don't know what the other person will say that we're individually asked or asked at the same time do you think you could do it and like one we both say separately if we think we could do the task I there might that. be some things you think you could do that I don't think I could oh, do. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. The other, we were also talking about how like everybody thinks they can do stand up. Yeah. And they're like, how hard is it? Yeah, how like, hard is everybody. It? Everybody thinks. Especially our uncles. <laughs> like, especially uncles. <laughs> oh, you still talk to yours? Oh. <laughs> especially uncles especially think uncles. they can do stand up. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I. I'm, it's just kind of like, Okay, then get up and try it. Yeah. yeah. You can't. You can't. Sorry, you can't. You so, cannot. So we want to play around <laughs> that too and try to see like... Wait, you guys, I love this. Thanks. Thank you. We should... I'm like, can you guys excuse me? You just hear on the phone with Julia from OnlyFans. <laughs> hey, Julia, it's, uh, it's been since I emailed you about the money this morning. But what... Uh... Do a lot of people ask you guys for the OnlyFans contact? Someone texted me yesterday from yeah. a number I don't me have I, 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 Yeah. Did I, someone text you yesterday, anybody? Oh, not yesterday, no. but a few days ago. What area code, Mike, is 701? Ooh. And I don't know why my I'll mind do remembered. do it for friends, like no problem. Friends, I'm like, fine, but if I barely know you, and they're like, hey, I used you as a reference. I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know you. Yeah, I don't know who this number was. Yeah. And I just literally forgot to text back. North Dakota, 701. I okay, do? no one from North Dakota is funny. So, yeah. 
<laughs> you lose all your North Dakota <laughs> listeners. For some reason, you're a hit in North Dakota. 701. Huh. Famous people. Nobody's North funny in North Dakota. It Don't quote me on that. Oh, my God. Angie Dickinson? I have no idea. Yeah, this list ain't looking too good. Peggy Lee. I know Peggy Lee. Not Wiz Khalifa. Oh. Oh, yeah, Peggy Lee. Okay, we love North Dakota. Wow. North Dakota is just like so random. You know Peggy Lee's, do you know the song, the depressing Peggy Lee song? Which one? Um, Where she's like, um, it's pretty much about not wanting to live. Oh, I, I oh, need to hear so, that one. It's uh, Is fine. everybody okay? <laughs> <laughs> what? I know Peggy Lee's granddaughter. Oh, oh really? She really? Li- she lives here in LA. She's taken me there, to. Oh, it, is that all dinner. there is? You're like her name's Barb from Flappers. I go what? <laughs> it's funny. Barb Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, yeah. The lyrics are. Oh, she starts talking. She goes, "I remember when I was a little girl. Our house caught fire. Caught on fire." I'll never forget the look on my father's face as he gathered me up in his arms and faced me through the burning building <clears throat> out of the pavement. And I stood there shivering in my pajamas. It's going to get flagged for as I sound just like her. Pretty much she's saying all... <laughs> <laughs> she's she pretty much says all these shitty things. And then the chorus goes, is that all there is? Is that all there Wait, is? You know what's so funny? She sings that and her dad's like, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> hey, yeah, that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves a liar. Then she goes into when I was twelve. My daddy took me to the circus. <laughs> the greatest show on earth. Is that all there is? <laughs> what the hell? What's her daddy the up to? The weirdest part is that I love this song. I gotta hear it. When I, I want to see it. Oh yeah, because we can't play because of licensing problems. Yeah, yeah, Boom. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, although we did say sucking dick in the first few minutes, so we're ready we can not. Bleep that out. Yeah, we're yeah, not you getting can, money. You know what? Because it's a because it's a Thanksgiving episode. You should put a like a turkey, a turkey <laughs> gobble over every time we say yes. that. <laughs> oh, we should get into the the Thanksgiving Day stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tell me about your shirt. Oh, I went to a birthday party at a karaoke <laughs> restaurant, and every <laughs> bar, not restaurant, and everybody had to bring a crazy shirt okay oh, and they put it in a bag and then you pulled out the shirt a random shirt and the shirt i pulled out said uh what does it say i'm not into fitness fitness turkey in my fitness mouth. turkey in my <laughs> mouth and i'm a vegetarian but i i said i'm gonna wear this for thanksgiving <laughs> That's fantastic. So this is my now my new Thanksgiving shirt. Yeah. I love that. That's... I love that you said. And I don't eat meat. <laughs> I've <laughs> never had turkey, but I I love the shirt. That's, That's cute. A, That's a fun one to get pulled. Also, the necklace is good with it too. Really? Yeah, I was yeah. looking at it. That's a nice choker. I yeah. just got this in Costa Rica. I love it. It's nice. Fifty eight dollars. Wow. That's a lot more than I thought. The conversion rate <laughs> in like, Costa Rica to dollars, I wasn't quite sure what I was paying, and then I saw, and then I looked and I had I paid fifty eight. Oh wow! Not. Oh, it is nice though. Yeah, but too this better much. be real pearls. Yeah, yeah these are. It better be. Better Costa Rica was expensive. Jeez, Louisa. Mm. Huh? Anyways, huh? I'm not yes. going unless I'm on a dating show or something. <laughs> And I'm in love, so I don't see that happening. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Hey, do you know that turkey was not served at the first Thanksgiving? Why? Yeah, I was going to say why. They didn't have it. What did they eat? They said weird things like lobster and... uh, What the... Who's they? The internet. The pilgrims? Uh, (laughs) Who started Thanksgiving? The pilgrims. Yeah. It first started in Alaska. No, I heard Boston. (laughs) Everybody's lying to us, <laughs> and I'm not here for it. Massachusetts, I'm sorry, Massachusetts. But the original Thanksgiving was somewhere else. Oh, Plymouth, that's right. <laughs> Sixteen. You to type in original instead of first. Yeah, <laughs> original. Uh, Alaska doesn't make much sense. Maybe it wasn't Alaska. Alaska wasn't even part of America. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, 1621, we were in America. They're doing lobster in Alaska for Thanksgiving. Lobster. There was lobster in... um, The first recorded religious Thanksgiving day was Plymouth. I've never heard Alaska. It was something else like that. (laughs) <laughs> they had like a feast. Mandy, Mandy literally, <laughs> where Mandy they... stopped the conversation. And goes, did you guys know <laughs> in Alaska lobster for Thanksgiving? I said, what the hell is going on? Wait, right the now? lobster thing's real. The Alaskan thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> the first Thanksgiving, uh, I 
I'm really bad at trivia. Me too. Mm. Never me take too. me to trivia. Me too. Busting it's, myths. Oh, uh, that's too I'm much. I'm looking for anything that's got a last minute. Here. Yeah. Okay, we yeah. tried. Not a lot. Look, look, look. Do they celebrate? Oh, the cellar. Uh, alas. There's something with snow. You guys, this has to, this conversation has to change. Well, pull up your little talking oh, yeah. points. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still couldn't think of my answer, and I should have given you a head. What's your, what's your least favorite Thanksgiving Day gift? Gift or gift? Oh, fuck. What's your least favorite Thanksgiving Day dish? Ooh, I know. That's good. Cranberries. Ooh, that was one of the top things. Really? As a kid, I hated cranberries, but now I like it. I love it. it. I love it with the, with the, with the uh, gravy and the mashed oh, potatoes. Oh, dare I say turkey. Oh, turkey? I've never, But I've never had it. Oh, yeah. So does it count? No. It's the cranberries. I'm trying to think. Yams is second. Oh, I like yams. Are you guys, like to it. be honest, I don't like Thanksgiving food. Yeah, because yeah, you're listing the good you're yeah, you're, the sides. You're listing the and you're ready. I the like, meats are ready I out. like the bread and the Caesar salad. <laughs> That's what I get at my thing. You're like, I like pizza. Huh? And then no sometimes I'll bring the mac and cheese because it is oh. not served at our family's Thanksgiving. No, oh. really? Yeah. Mac and cheese should be added. That should be a dish. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite. A hundred percent. Yeah. I'm trying to think because that's a really tough one. The hardest is tough, right? I would say this is just a food because like, I'm not a picky eater. That's why this is hard because okay. I, I'll eat anything Same. and everything. You put it in front of me, oh, 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 <laughs> except for beets. I hate beets. Uh, oh. Now, is that a Thanksgiving one? You're just saying food, right? I don't know. Do people have beets at Thanksgiving? I don't think so. I don't think it's a traditional Thanksgiving. Shoot, because that's a hard one, because I really would eat it all. <laughs> I was going through the list, and another <laughs> least popular one was um, green bean casserole. <gasps> Love no, that. It's great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite's when I forget that Mike is there, <laughs> and then you're like, <laughs> and then you're like, green bean casserole. He's like, ugh. <laughs> 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 I've never had green bean casserole for Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's good. But that was another top least favorite. Cheesy broccoli casserole. <laughs> you like that or you don't? It. Yeah, I love it. I know, you couldn't really tell me that. <laughs> couldn't tell if you were throwing up or you liked it. Yeah, I didn't have an answer either because I kept going through everything and being like, shit, I eat everything. Like, I'll eat well, it I don't even like pumpkin pie. Whoa. I don't eat that. Well, what's your favorite dessert? Mud, I'll do the mud pie. Mud, mud pie? pie. <laughs> so we've got roll, Caesar salad, and mud pie on Chase's. Yeah, I mean, I put, like, the potatoes <laughs> on my plate just to, like, I put stuff on my plate, but I'm just like, Just uh, to look. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is actually kind of, my favorite thing is least traditional because my mom would make a giant pan of baked ziti. Ooh. And I would usually just eat baked ziti only. Mmm, yum. Because I'm like, I'll just like the baked ziti. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Over this shit. Wait, I don't think I know what baked ziti is, but it. It's, it's noodles, it? the rolly noodles. Oh, okay. Like better than Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Big ZD too. Cheese. <laughs> There's ground beef in it, so but you'd have to have vegetarian Big ZD. Oh, oh, it's pasta. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh absolutely, it's absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, you think Olive Garden would be the best place to go to on Thanksgiving? You do? You think? I think so. I used to do a traditional. <laughs> I used to go to Maggiano's for Thanksgiving out really? here. When I didn't have Friendsgiving, I would just do there. <laughs> really? Alone? I didn't have Friendsgiving. <laughs> Would you go there alone? It was with my ex. Oh. Okay, okay. R.I.P. Yeah, he had no friends, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both were losers. I I would go to a Chinese, a Chinese restaurant on Thanksgiving. They're oh, yeah, fun. that sounds good. People do that on Christmas. They do that on Christmas. Yeah. I'll do that on Christmas this year. Really? I think. Are you staying that. in town? I'm. My family lives here. That's right. So, yeah, I stay in town, but we were kind of thinking about going to Chinese food. Sounds great. That would be fun. We just have to get everyone else on board. Me and my sister were talking about this. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. you Sounds can do good. it. Get everybody on board. They want to board. cook or clean. Yeah. I think that's all you have to sell them. And they go see them. a movie after. Oh. Oh, it sounds nice. That, that sounds great? like the perfect Christmas. It's like a really good Christmas. Yeah. I didn't realize until I, I was thinking about it. We've never done a Thanksgiving Day episode. Episode. I was like, what did I wear last Thanksgiving Day episode? And then I was like, we've never done one. We've never done one. This is a big, hey, this is great. big day. I know. Hey, Pull up the more questions. we got to go more okay, Thanksgiving okay, okay. themed. Um, What is, oh, if you guys weren't supposed to look at this because it's giving things oh, away. Okay, I'm not oh, looking. Um, oh. how, many, um, how many turkeys do you think? You probably saw. How many? I didn't see. Okay. Let's see. How, how many turkeys do you think are eaten? Eat? Every year on Thanksgiving. Every year. Oh my God. It's in the millions. Yeah. Three I, million. Okay. Uh, seven, seven million. 
46 million. No. <laughs> do you know every Thanksgiving I um, adopt a turkey? <gasps> what do you do with it? What? It's like at a sanctuary. I just pay for it to stay alive. Oh. You I pardon. You yeah. pardon a turkey. I pardon a turkey every year. Wow. <laughs> then the payment stops. <laughs> 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 yeah, what's that contract? How do you? No, no, I go online every year and do it. <laughs> That's nice. It's of not you. a yearly. What if one of the mo- you like break it up monthly payments? One of the monthly payments accidentally doesn't go through because you change your credit card and they just. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. No, but they send you the picture of the turkey that oh you pardon, and they give you a little backstory about Chase, her. You're such a good person. That's so cute. <laughs> That's crazy. How much is that? Do you know? They're like, what the fuck? They're like, <laughs> um, I think it's. I think you pay fifty dollars. That's a lot. That's because you have to keep it alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I learned oh, that so the pardon funny. I did a lot of research before this because I learned so much last thing St. Patty's Day we learned a lot oh, and yeah. I was like I want to learn something and about on this. um July 4th what is that 4th of July oh yes mm-hmm. that date um <laughs> <laughs> I learned that the pardoning of uh the turkey began because Abraham Lincoln's child didn't want him to kill the turkey ah. so he didn't kill it isn't Abraham a great guy? Yeah. Great dude. Yeah. I mean, I hear so many wonderful things about him. Yeah, I tall, mm-hmm. handsome. I wonder what he's doing in the afterlife today. <laughs> killing it for sure. Kill not it. the turkeys. Yeah, not, not the killing the turkeys, the turkeys but he's killing all the turkeys it. are constantly in the afterlife. <laughs> On Thanksgiving, they're just like the angels are just welcoming him in. <laughs> Oh, it's so sad. The, All the, the turkeys. Giving day facts were so random. One of them was like, you know, this Mary had a little lamb lady is the reason Thanksgiving Day is the thing. Why? She's the one who was like, we got to make this a holiday, man. Someone's got to listen. And she was writing books and telling everyone like, we this needs to be a holiday to make everyone like each other. Oh, and so she, Mary was a real person. I think her name is Sarah. It just became uh, a uh, map. <laughs> I think her name is Sarah. <laughs> and it just became a massacre of turkeys. And then, so, and so then she wrote a note to Abe, and finally Abe listened and made it a holiday. Yeah, Mary Todd Lincoln. Ah! Is that her wife? Mary had a little lamb is his about wife? Mary Todd Lincoln. Oh mm-hmm. no, I'm starting. Oh, his uh, name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that that's a great blew my mind. Though. Yeah, it's a we good should start it. I'm because like, who's it. gonna question really us? Let's start that. Let's start that. Okay. Let's make a whole fake news TikTok channel. Did you know? That's yeah, actually really. Yeah, and see yeah. how far That's it reaches. Fun. And see which who picks it up. That's fun. That's fun. There was a UFC fighter that at his post fight speech gave the whole TikTok story of how an eagle has to go and fly and break its beak to become a new eagle or else it'll die. And this whole journey it takes. And he went two or three minutes saying this whole fucking story that's fake. Oh, um, and people believed it. Well, no, immediately people were like, that's not true. He saw that on TikTok and it's oh, false. And I was like, they believed it. No, well, they just... aired it, but ESPN aired this whole guy's speech about this fucking... Wow. Yeah, so start fake news channel. It's great. That's okay. really fun. Pretty much my podcast. Yeah. So. That's pretty much my life. <laughs> yeah. Anytime I speak, it's always fake news. I hear something and I go, that must be true. Yeah, why else would it be said? Why else would it be yeah. said? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to keep saying facts that I think are real. Um, <laughs> like Thanksgiving started in Alaska. It yeah. was something like that. <laughs> um, <it's, laughs> okay, the next fact I learned. The first Thanksgiving Day parade was actually with real zoo animals. What? What? <laughs> The was Thanksgiving Day Parade wasn't with balloons. Floats. So they had like oh, lions on leashes. The Macy's. And they're, and they're like. Yeah, the Macy's Thanksgiving Passing day. out candy. <laughs> with the, oh. The tigers and lions and bears. Okay. And then one day they were like, let's do it with floats. Yeah, I don't know why they switched to, to floats. After people Although got. They floats too, it's this. Oh. So you're the floats, bands, and Central Park Zoo animals. Man, the this isn't going you well for me. No, you were factual. It was factual. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do one more fact, okay. and then we're going to move on. 1924. Okay. How have so, we even been alive that long? Or, wait. We haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you guys, that was... was <laughs> I don't know what's in this drink, <laughs> but I have dementia. <laughs> That was a hundred years ago. That's a long time so ago. So this Thanksgiving's gonna be the hundredth year anniversary. Macy's has been open for a hundred years. The first parade was. Looks, se- years it ago. seems like it. Came wow. in wearing Macy's clothes. <laughs> Two truths and a lie. <laughs> <laughs> the truth. Two truths and lies. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so funny. Okay, one more. Is this a truth or a lie? Okay. Kay. Kids used to dress up for um, Thanksgiving and knock on doors, poor kids, and say, can I have any food or money? Like trick-or-treating? Like trick-or-treating. And then... Instead of trick-or-treat, they said, food or money? Please. <laughs> Instead of trick-or-treat. We yeah. should do that now. Why did we switch to candy? Yeah, I'm done to do that. Yeah. Food or money, food please. Food or money, please. <laughs> and then the rich kids made th- thought it was like they looked stupid, the poor kids asking for money. And then they started dressing up as poor kids to make fun of the poor kids asking for money. And then the rich kids would dress up as poor kids and knock on doors and ask for money. And then a war happened, and then they are like, we don't have time for this. This is the... The Civil it, War. Is this it, true yeah. or false? Because this is way too specific. To this, be false. this is true. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is this is crazy true. false. I, I just imagine <laughs> little boys dressed up at like Newsies and Newsies the I musical. Know. Oh, cute. Oh, I learned what Newsies was because of you. Oh, Remember, really? I didn't know. I was. I said musical. Josh looked like a Newsie. Yes. Look at me. <laughs> I'm the king of New York. Can sing. She can sing. <laughs> Audra can sing. <laughs> Should we be a singing therapist and also do stand up together? <laughs> I'll see you at Antioch. Where do I fit in in this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are just on, only fans. Okay, you guys. That I, show I, idea is really good. Thank you. And it will get picked up. Really? Yeah. I'm I a psychic. So. I'm also a medium when I'm drunk. I she am too. No. Are you really? Oh yeah. yeah. What? Wait, I've. Do you know this about me? I'm a drunk man. Wait, no, like, she's. But like, are you I've really? I've seen it. No, she 100 percent is. I've seen. The, it. No, they like, come to you. Like very specifically. <gasps> Does this really happen to you? Well, I went to. I I have <laughs> read. I had like, yes, yes. I told someone about their dead brother that was talking to me, and she's like, "Oh, that's my brother." <gasps> when you were drunk. No, sober. Oh, that's. I'm jealous of that. I have too much noise going on for me to do it sober. But I was on a I was on a retreat, not a silent meditation retreat. This one was a manifestation retreat. <laughs> oh my god! In Greece, this is great. And we did. It was like in Greece. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah! And we did a whole like medium couple days where we were like reading people, and I was very spot on reading. Wow. Wait, stop! That's so far. They have a medium thing here. It's like a they do because you know there's it. like there's a haunted there's not a haunted there's like this crystal shop in Studio City and she one time told me she was like we have a lot of people who think that they can channel come and take a class with us and everybody just practices it and I'm like how fun would Let's it be do I would have to be wasted okay up. but yes when you were drunk yeah. what did you I've seen what her, happened I've seen her do it three times and be spot on it's crazy tell me so. It's, 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 it's weird because it, it, so I'll know how it's the, pretty cool. I'll know how the basic works where it's you're like, talking to us who are like we believe like I believe this more than anything, and then sometimes I think maybe people listening might think. Well, I've seen it happen. This oh no, I, yeah, crazy. she's seen. I've gotten it like yeah, spot, spot on. on. Oh my gosh, keep going. <laughs> I like so I knew the basic rules of it, which is if it goes on your left side, that's a a woman goes in your right side, man, right? Okay. Did you know that? I knew. I no, I didn't know there were rules like and, that. And so like that's just what other mediums have gone off of. Okay. So I kind of know that. So if it goes on my left lower side, I know it's like a young woman. Like, do like, you young, see the a person? Young girl. Do you see um, an image? I, like, in my mind, the best I could picture it is in my mind. I can see them. Yes. Uh-huh. And then, but they're not in front of me. So like, I'm not like seeing like, it's like, like when how you, I see Mandy. I'm not seeing them, but they're they're there in my mind. Like when you think of and I could hear them, something, but, and that memory pops up in your memory. That's how you see. Yeah, it. and I could hear them talking to me, but like not actually hear them. If that uh-huh. makes sense. Yes, like, that's how the it, psychics do it. And the closer I am to the person, <laughs> like if I'm close, like I did a reading for Mandy and Maddie, and if I did a reading for Chappelle, and I feel. I feel like we're close to Chappelle. So who I brought through for him, it was very like I felt it more because I felt like they knew that I knew Chappelle. So that like it goes through like I feel like I could feel it more and it's more I could do real. You got a reading? Yeah. And the second who she, came she through? brought my grandma up right after he she died. Mm-hmm. And then the second I brought up like something negative about her life, she left. Whoa. Which is very grandma of her. My family hates confrontation, even dead. Wow. And then they did Matt's grandma. Yeah. yeah Chappelle's she brother. Like, yeah. She, the, what was the tree? How many drinks do you have Yeah, to the have? cherry tree. Yeah. Can, have you tried doing it sober? The cherry. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 um, I think it's the overthinking thing. The, I, when you're drunk, the mind calms. I think that my biggest. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I die, I think the biggest, if we, if the afterlife is real, which I definitely think it is because, you know, 
I think the biggest thing that I'm going to look back on my life is be upset that I couldn't stop the noise in my head. But that's what makes reading so hard. And I think people, they, if it's real, the spirits, I think, can, can sense that. Mm-hmm. But when I'm drunk, I'm like, I'm fucking... <laughs> And, and, and the things I don't care about, like medical debt, I don't care about that kind of stuff, but it's more like emotions. I don't know. I just had to add that in. I, but, but like when I'm wasted, everything go, or like not even wasted, but drunk. Uh, for oh, some yeah. reason. So much happier. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't care. It's just like, this makes me want to drink. You know yeah, what? I know, right? Me too. Like, wow. That is the coolest fun fact ever. Ever. We should do readings w- with each other. We should practice. Yeah, we should. Well, I would love a real reading from you. I would do a, a drunk reading. reading. You should yeah. do drunk readings. You should. You know how Orion does it. You know, I. Yes, Orion. <laughs> you know, I love Orion. Um, <laughs> and you can keep that in. Mike left. We can't tell him to cut it. So yeah. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. I know he does on a podcast. We're just with the girls. He does. I filled. I filled it. <laughs> Oh my I god! Yeah, I wish. I wish. <laughs> my, uh, Christmas episode, I'll drink. Okay, Ooh. okay, okay. Um. Anyways, he does the show that's like a tarot <laughs> reading show. Yeah, with I, I filled it for him one time. Okay. Well, you crow. should do the medium reading yeah. show. We should tell Nicole to do that one night at the crow. But yeah. I'm afraid. So I thought about doing that. I did that one time for Samantha Hale's um show. You, you, you read, did it on you did my a medium? show. I did. Yeah, I was a drunk. I did it on your show too. Wait, I was, does it work? every time do you feel the pressure like i better have a reading the more people there is the more i do think it gets n- noisy it, mm-hmm. it like uh i really have to focus and people laugh at you they think it's like like the one i did on samantha hale show this woman or this not this woman this uh gay guy's um mom died and i had brought her but you didn't I, know that she, she no. had died and then i said that you know she had a limp and he was like, yeah, she had, and I said she had cancer and a limp. And he goes, yeah, the limp's because of cancer. And oh everybody's like laughing. God. Why are they laughing? Well, because they're laughing because they think that I'm, re- it's like one of those things where it's like, I said, her favorite color, I said, turquoise. Like, she, she loved, you know, certain things are turquoise. He's like, yeah, she loved the ocean. Then they're laughing. So like, they're, you're stretching, uh, you're stretching. But, but you're really getting it. But I'm really getting it. So it's easier things. when there's not a crowd. But then I thought about that and I'm like, I would hate to be like the known as the drunk medium and just become an alcoholic. Oh my God. No. <laughs> it's like she really lost it in her career. But no, but we need to have a girls' a night. A girls' night fun. and you can do Chase. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm thrilled. Okay, that's exciting. Okay, I can't wait. It would be kind of fun to do a whole show though. Now you have to be thinking, because Rita would totally let us like in the lab one night, just like one time and see how it goes. And we do, do it. all the comedians that could do drunk uh any comedian that thinks they have power well, yeah and thomas dale you thomas dale there in you it. Go. oh my gosh i can't <laughs> wait wait i'm gonna tell rita that do okay. it okay oh my gosh that's a show i would go watch yeah, yeah. i just was gonna say people would go watch it i for know sure. yeah wow cool okay <laughs> we got plans Woo. um you guys i really we i had a hard time talking about thanksgiving <laughs> oh shit Oh, I forget. What do you guys want to talk about things? What would you like to say about Thanksgiving? uh, Are we going to read that? Oh, you know, one thing I thought was really funny is that this is going to be the first Thanksgiving where you'll be able to see which one of your family members is on Ozempic. Oh, that's so funny. I already know which ones. (laughs) Because they're not going to eat a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's why. They're going to be skinny and they're going to pretend like they're eating how many people are gonna fight over politics this year that's what i was gonna say why is the election always right before that's getting we we my family cannot bring up politics yeah just don't bring it up we're not bringing up politics i will shut it down yeah so quick (laughs) i'll say also my family is so skinny you think they're all no one's on ozempic (laughs) they just don't eat really i'm the heavy one in the family wow they must be tiny they they're so tiny size my pinky they don't eat (laughs) <laughs> yeah. oh my god maybe you're they're all in ozempic <laughs> you're tiny <laughs> that's so nice yeah. i'm the i'm like really big in the family <laughs> are, are they all runners we didn't even talk about the marathon oh my god, oh my god you guys oh you gotta have us back <laughs> oh shit yeah we're everyone oh f- shit all i right. mean we all did a half marathon we, yeah, like we all did half marathon. marathon we all did half marathon but at and different my, time and well two at the same, same time, time. I I got a text last week that said, Chase, do you want to do the LA Marathon? I said, sure. 
So I think I might do the LA Marathon in March. We'll do it. We're, we'll do it. we're we'll already do it. All we're already it. like Let's halfway there. Yeah. Maybe. And might as well be the year we just knock it out. Yeah. Okay. Have I mean, you guys done marathons? Oh wait, your full marathon. I don't think I could LA do that. Full, no, I've never done a marathon. I don't think I could do a full I, marathon. The only thing I worry about, I want to do it. I, I, the only thing I worry about is when we hit that 13th mile. You were, I was, was like, done. how could I ever do 13 so more? It was, it, I couldn't walk the rest of the day. Well, that's the thing. I was like, I, it's on my bucket list. I always, I've always wanted to do one marathon, mm -hmm. but I just, I know it's going to be a brutal six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Such a long time. Yeah six hours dude that she said girl on tiktok that justine or something that she was running that new york marathon you she sent was, me that she was wasted it was i've so seen another guy do a, a glass of wine every the, mile the new york marathon looks so far yeah it's crazy. i know the la marathon's probably not that fun is it it apparently it is oh it is like, like apparently it's it's really fun like um because the person that asked me she has done it before and she's like the night before everybody gets together you do a carb load and there's people with signs and cheering you want like I guess that's what marathons are. But she says it's really fun. Wait, okay, let's just, should we just And do it's it? where we live. Let's think about it. Because if we... Let's think about let's it. Let's think about, about it. it. Um, this Thanksgiving mm -hmm. day, um, what would you like to say that you're grateful for? Oh, I love that. Uh, <laughs> I have a hard time with this. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm trying to think. It's <laughs> a very good sign. <laughs> <laughs> the world's pretty fucked up right now, so uh, I'm thankful that we're all still here. That's good. That yeah. is good. I mean, is this cheesy? I'm thankful for this podcast. Oh my god, Chase! Wow, Chase, really one up in me. <laughs> ready to be one up? <laughs> I'm, I'm also thankful for this podcast. <laughs> and me too. Well, it it gets uh, like like. I actually see you so much because of this. <laughs> I know. Like, it, it's so fun. And then you've brought me and Audrey together who are soulmates. We're soulmates. I know, you guys we're are. Legitimate. We're going to have our own, we're gonna have our own private together. practice together. Our oh, my God, we yes. A private practice together. <gasps> yes. Dude. And then have entertainers can come and see us because we know how it is. We can have entertainment climate. I she, was she thinking we to get could there. help, like, people in the industry because, boy, do they need help. They That's need help. what Audrey says all the time. Audrey said she wants to. To be specific yeah. for yeah. actors and comedians. Yeah. They don't, like, we've actually been through it and know. Yeah. And you know what I, okay, this is a site because they know entertainers need help. You know what I want to start, too, because comedians need a lot of help, too. You know what I thought the other day? You know how we all, like donate our clothes to goodwill and stuff because this yeah. goes off of what we talk about how great if we like told reader the improv or something and be like any any uh, one who wants to give clothes donates it maybe they we bring it somewhere and then a comedian who is like i don't want to spend money on clothes we go through the, the bags and it's like a comic goodwill that would be cool i think so because i I a lot of flannel. A lot of flannel. A lot of flannel. A lot of hoodies. Anything of to bomb. help comedians. <laughs> Honestly, we need help. Yeah. We need help. We need I a lot love of help. that. But we could do a we could do a private practice. And when I at one point right before back in May, I was really low, and I was looking up resources to help like with comedians' mental health. There's not any like websites for that. Yeah, Audrey's told me all about that. Mm -hmm. Let's do it, Chase. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. I'll okay. come see you when I'm feeling low. <laughs> <laughs> we get a knock on our door we'll in two hours. I'm going to be our <laughs> only client. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Debt will be paid off soon. And he's like, I I'm not going to pay you guys. We're like, that's no, no. totally fine. We're I'm all like, friends here. <laughs> I'm like, do you guys take LA care? You're like, no. I'm like, all right, I'll see you later. <laughs> that is the thing with us, Chase. We'd probably be like, you know what? You guys yeah, don't yeah, need yeah. to pay. Get on in here. That's what I said in my <laughs> interview for Antioch. They were like, what, what do you have to work on? yourself and it's like if i'm a therapist i'd have to work on boundaries yeah. yeah i wouldn't ever like if they wanted to keep talking for three hours i'd just yeah. keep talking yeah <laughs> i have no boundaries either. yeah 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 oh, oh this is great can't believe you're starting a private practice i can't together. believe we're starting a private practice this is so this exciting really all worked out <laughs> this was amazing okay. and then we'll look back on this podcast wow this story is really long for the misery loves company okay i guess we're gonna just we're gonna just read it and wrap up on this okay Okay, so I was invited to, also when I read it, I was kind of confused on some of the wording on girlfriend, boyfriend, but okay. I was invited to cook dinner with friends, a straight couple, at the boyfriend's mom's house. It's a fun <laughs> time, full of laughter, and the wine is flowing. We're making a great meal to enjoy. 
The mom was at work all day. About halfway through our cooking, we realized something is really wrong with the cat. <laughs> Not frowny face. <laughs> Two frowny faces. He'd been sick, but things were getting bad in a hurry. The vet said he can't do anything. He said just to keep the cat comfortable and wait. So the cat is literally dying. And the mom comes home, and we have to tell her the bad news. She does not handle it well. As you can imagine, she kind of screams when she hears the news and just falls into pieces completely. Hella awkward. This is really sad. And we all do our best to offer comfort. We eventually were all awkwardly sitting around the table eating dinner in complete silence and meekly sipping wine and the mood is grim. (laughs) But the girlfriend is getting really drunk, but also doesn't really like the mom. I'm thinking this is like there's another couple and there's the boyfriend and girlfriend. I think this is the girlfriend of the boyfriends. Uh. I'm assuming. But the girlfriend is getting really drunk. She also doesn't really like the mom and keeps rolling her eyes when the mom isn't looking and texting me that the mom is being dramatic about this cat. Even though the cat's dying? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying my best to keep my (laughs) shit together (laughs) because this is the weirdest, most uncomfortable situation ever. I'm trying to spark up some light conversation and it's just awful. I'm carrying this dinner single handedly, which makes me start to drink more to deal with the cringe. So then I so then I (laughs) asked someone to please pass the potatoes and the mom yells out a loud sob and hollers the weird warble pickles, the dead cat's name. And the girlfriend takes one look at me, trying the damnest to keep a straight face and just bursts out in hysterical laughter. (laughs) Her boyfriend is appalled. I immediately freeze, feeling overwhelming pressure that is so close to pure madness when you try to suppress hysterical laughter that you know you shouldn't let out. The mom abruptly pushes her chair back and leaves the table, and we all hear her crying in the garage. I I follow the mom... Over her dead cat. Over her dead cat. I follow the mom and try to comfort her. The dead cat... I don't get this. It says dead cat is covered in tears. Because the, the tears are falling on the cat. Oh, 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 God. Boyfriend is yelling at the mom to stop crying on the cat. <laughs> what? The girlfriend is doubled over crying laughing. She's completely gonzo at this point wasted. She is laughing so hard she pees her pants, which I read that and I was like, hey, oh, this, <laughs> <laughs> this makes me lose my shit. The boyfriend is stealthily drinking more wine in the kitchen just to cope. The three of us spend the rest of the night sitting in front of the fire. We can't leave because we've all been drinking, listening to the sound of crying, avoiding eye contact. Every time the mom (laughs) wails pickles, the girlfriend loses it all over again. This lasts until about 10 p.m. when I finally call someone to rescue my ass and get the hell out of there. That is the story of the most awkward dinner of my life. R.I.P. Pickles. Thanks for ruining Thanksgiving. Oh my that is wild. Well, I don't know if I love that the girlfriend was laughing about it. No, no, no. That's what she was saying. She was uncomfortable. Yeah. Because that girl was laughing. That girlfriend like the the cat just died. It's in yeah. real time. Maybe that girlfriend, she just doesn't know how to cope. So yeah, she, she, she laughs she instead laughs. of crying. But if she, she didn't laughs. like the mom and then was laughing, that's, yeah, that's pretty that's evil. Yeah, evil. that's evil. That's evil. That's really evil. That's an awkward Thanksgiving. Yeah. That is an aw- Wait, that is wild. I can feel like the energy of that room, though. I've been in such situations where like someone's like texting you things and you're trying to also like be nice. Yeah. And then yeah, we've not, all been there. Yeah, uh, so I was like, I totally feel that. But oh man, wow! Re- when you were reading this, it rem- I was reminded that I've had terrible Thanksgivings. Oh, it was a trigger. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Oh god! Yeah, our even our dog died on Thanksgiving, got run over, <gasps> and then what? and then the following year, and this is when I was little, and then the following year we got in an accident where people died. No. Oh, oh my no. god. And then just this past year my aunt passed away on Thanksgiving. Sweet. Oh what? my god. We don't have good Thanksgivings. Maybe in oh. your past life you guys were all something happened on Thanksgiving. I mean, something's happened in this life yeah. on Thanksgiving. Oh, well, she didn't pass because away he... on Thanksgiving. She went to the ICU. Okay, oh, wait, let god. me ask we don't have to pry cuz these details are dark, <laughs> but um <laughs> it's you know when when you said the accident with the other people that died you were in the car for that Mm -hmm. how how many people died i was five so i don't remember it all but we it was like 
one car stopped and then another car hit it and then we hit that car and then a car behind us hit. but we were in a cadillac which was like i guess a safe car and yeah ambulance came and people bleeding and blood and it was a really bad accident jeez Mm -hmm. i'm so sorry thanksgiving thanksgiving we don't like thanksgiving in our family (laughs) that's why you're going on a silent yeah Yeah, i'm actually at at the silent retreat for thanksgiving that's good you can you can can, that's good wow yeah i'm sorry so So, reading that i was like well last year's (laughs) thanksgiving was pretty awkward we were just all kind of in silence that was the aunt year yeah what happened to your aunt she passed away from um lungs lung disease yeah yeah oh man yeah so yeah sorry chase misery loves mandy i felt like we should throw in a misery story that was that's that's perfect yeah yeah yeah. really so you write a joke about your dad aunt yet (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) okay but talk about medium stuff i you want to see the aunt i i get signs from her all, all the time. All really? the time. That's cool. Do you want me to see if I could connect her when we're That's why I stuff? wanted to know. Okay. And I'm sure you can. More. I won't yeah, tell yeah, anything. Yeah, don't, but I'll, that's I, who you'd connect yeah, I would to. Yeah, I probably would. And th- you know what they say? People are like, sometimes I am like that. I'm like, don't tell me anything. But uh, but I'm always like, if you, you want to connect someone, think of them. Because yeah. nine times out of oh, ten yeah. when I'm drunk and they're thinking of that person, I pull that. Like my friend Jake, Ooh. he was thinking of his godfather. And that's such a specific thing. And I said godfather. <gasps> that's cool. That's specific. Yeah. Because sometimes mediums, they'll be like, you're a grandpa. And it's like, well, what are the odds? Like, a yeah. lot of people have grandpas yeah. that have. Like, yeah. 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 Godfather. That's specific. Yeah. Um, okay, mm-hmm. really quick. Let's do some plugs. And then if... Is everyone okay on time? I'll, for- do, I'll look how far it takes okay. to get to Wicked. So plug. Yeah. And then we'll check time. And then we'll see who could do Patreon. It might just be Mike and I. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. This Patreon's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. good. You better. It's going to go be over good. to Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What would you all like to plug? <sighs> Man, you guys could just check me out, I guess. There's not a whole lot going on. <laughs> Like, just please follow me on Instagram, dude. I just asked that you, yeah. I'm in, I'm in debt. Let's we're in debt. <laughs> just follow. A follow me. goes a long way. You hear me? Maybe come to a show. Buy a ten dollar ticket. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, Louise. It's at, at Audrey Stewart. Audrey Stew is our. I thought it'd be oh. funny, but people don't get it, and it just looks like Audrey <laughs> Stew is her. And a host brought me up one time. They're like, "Here's Audrey Stew is her." I go, "This is the worst life." This life isn't good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, one time at, at the improv, the host could not read my name. Every show they said, and give it up for Chaos O'Donnell. Oh. Wait, that's what that's <laughs> And then I go, hi, everyone. I'm Chase. Trying to like not be rude, just say it's Chase. And then the next show, same thing. What? Give it up for Chaos O'Donnell. I mean, <laughs> the shoes to fill when they have said your name is Chaos. Is really hard to follow. And then I come out in a little <laughs> dress and, and I'm like, not, hi. I'm actually, it's Chase. Do they laugh at that? I didn't say actually it's Chase. I just was like, hi, everyone. I'm Chase. Like, just trying to. And they go, <laughs> her nickname's Chaos. <laughs> her stage name is Chaos. <laughs> oh, that's a wrestling name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, chaos. You know, it would be a good comedy name if I filled that energy. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> chaos. Oh my god. So That's I really feel you. Funny. Stu is art. <laughs> Stu is art. <laughs> Um, well, my Instagram is Chase underscore O'Donnell. I lose followers every time I post. Same. So go ahead and give me a follow. Just so you know, I somehow lost 5,000 on TikTok. I don't know where they went. Where'd somehow they go? I lose 1,000 every day. So thank you so 5, much. 5,000. For- yeah, same. What is going on? What? Ooh, I want to know. I feel like I'm getting more creative. I don't get it. Stick, ar- stick around. We're trying really hard. We're li- like, what the fuck? <laughs> And I'm talking to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, God. okay. Um, yeah, we're grateful for followers. <laughs> oh, we're grateful, grateful for, for followers. followers. Well, have oh, a boy. great Thanksgiving. Have a great Thanksgiving. Have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, and also, see. Jingle Bells was originally a Thanksgiving Day song. No. Okay, bye. It's a rumor. <laughs> <We're just laughs> going to throw that in? <laughs>